Good morning, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are in the process of putting a septic tank in in our cabin here. And it's a round septic tank, so one and I have come up with this idea of taking our post hole auger and drilling a hole for it. Um, don't know if it's going to work. Uh, it's a four foot circumference that I've got to have. Um, it's an experiment. Hey, I've got nothing to lose by trying it. And if it works, then that's really, really good. Um, you know, we don't have to spend a bunch of money on an excavator or something like that. So we're going to try this process to see if it works. And um, cause look, we don't want to have to dig this thing totally with a shovel. And when you're doing things the way Wanda and I do it, we try to do it as economically as possible. And we try to always use equipment if we can. Uh, we don't have an excavator. I mean, our neighbor does, and he's offered to dig it. But if we can do it with a post hole auger and, and leave a very small footprint in the ground here, then, uh, then we're happy about that. So, guys, it, it's just a journey, okay? We don't even know if it's going to work. we got to go four and a half foot deep, um, which will be all the way up to here. If I have to dig a little bit at the bottom, that's okay. But, you know, just digging the, the majority of it, this ground is hard. We've been in a drought. It's just been a little bit of rain, and this ground is really, really hard. Plus, we got an oak tree right here. We're hoping that we don't hit a root or something with this thing and snatch it down the ground. We can't get it out. That's the biggest issue that's on my mind right now. So, well, it's like this, guys. We're just going to give it a shot. See how it goes.
Okay, guys, y'all been watching us here. Bill, uh, dig a hole. Um, this ground is like concrete. It hasn't rained here in forever, and we've only got just a small amount of rain. And you saw the auger. Literally, that thing usually would just suck it right down the ground. I could pick it up and drive out, sling all the dirt off. But this is like powder, and it's very hard to get it to stay on the auger to be able to move it out to the outside edge there. Um, what's left in the hole, I'll probably be able to get a little bit more of it out with the auger. Uh, it's just we've got to run to town right at the moment um, before it gets to be too late. I'll probably work on it some more this afternoon. Um, guys, times like these is where you have to have equipment to do stuff. Uh, you, you would, you'd be here with a pick and a, and a shovel for days on end trying to dig this hole. And it, this dry and this hard. And um, it's just, you know, using a post hole auger is probably an unconventional use for that piece of equipment to do something like this. But on a homestead, you have to use whatever you have to make things happen. And we just happen to have a post hole auger. Now, this is not something that this equipment you see me use here, I didn't just go buy this equipment. This is a lifetime worth of investment in purchasing equipment. And, you know, so what I have is because I've acquired it over years, not just running out and buying it all of a sudden. Uh, it's, it's used for what we use it for here on the homestead. We drill post holes. We drill holes for, you know, fencing and stuff like that. But something like this, Guys, you either go out and rent the equipment, dig the hole, and shuck out more money, or you take what you have and you make it work. So we're going to continue to work on this this afternoon, and we're going to see if we can't get this hole dug on deep enough here to get this septic system in. And if we can't, hey, we'll go get another piece of equipment, but at least we've got a good start on it. Guys, it's late afternoon. It's finally cooled off again enough. We can come out and work on the septic tank hole. We're um, kind of augering the dirt. The dirt's like concrete. We just had to take the auger and just beat it up into dust. And then we had to take the shovel and get down in there and throw it out. Because it's so fine that we, the auger won't even pick it up. So what we're going to have to do eventually is probably put water in the hole. Um, or at least let it rain so that we can um, soften this ground up some. Guys, look, I'm three feet deep in the ground and it's still powder. So, uh, it's a little drier than I expected it to be. Okay guys, it's getting dark. I'm gonna have to quit for the day. I got another two foot to go. So it's been a long day working on this baby. So we're gonna work on it again tomorrow maybe. And, and we might wait for some rain. Okay, guys, we are back out here with the septic tank. Um, I'm trying to figure the depth that I got to go. I figure I will dig a post hole right in the middle to get my exact depth. That way I'll know how much deeper I've got to dig everything around it. Guys, I am from the top of the ground. 
I am four foot deep, and it's still as hard as concrete. There's no moisture. This really fools me. Uh, I figured once I got two foot deep or something like that, that I would probably run into the dirt would be damp and be a little bit easier to dig. Not so. It's still just like concrete in the bottom, and it is still just as dry. You can see the, what I'm digging up right here. It's just powder. There, there's no moisture in it whatsoever. So it's a lot drier here than I thought it was. Um, don't take a while. We got rain moving in tonight. I may just let it rain in the hole and wet the ground down in here where it'd be easier for me to dig. I know it's going to wash some dirt back in, but I might just let it rain in the hole um, and just let let it go and then dig it afterwards because this is. I've been here like 20 minutes trying to dig this little hole, and uh, and that's all I've got. It's maybe 12 inches right there. That's uh, and it's done wearing me out. So I, I may just wait and let it rain in the hole. I try to clean up as much loose dirt as I can, and just let the water fill it up and work on it again after that. <laughs> Hey guys, you got to do what you got to do. This is very hard. We got, I don't even know how many inches of rain we got. We got several inches of rain. I had 10 laying over this. It didn't even, look, it's still dry. It didn't even wet it down. Look at the top. You can see where the water line is. Only wet the ground that deep. So this is still, I had to pour water in the bottom of the hole in order to get this where I could dig, so. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, this is day number three working on the septic tank hole. I think we finally got it dug deep enough. We're about to do the test fit to see where we're at. Uh, if my measurements are right, we should fit. It's going to be tight now because I didn't want to dig any more than I absolutely had to in this hard, hard ground. This ground's like concrete. You can look down in there. You can see this ground is just like concrete. So I dug it pretty close to being exact dimensions. So guys, wish me luck. We're fixing to go hook up to this tank and drop it in here and just see how close we are.
right, guys. Next thing, we've got to take the top off of it, and we've got to level the top of it because we want the tank sitting in the ground level in order for it to function like it's supposed to. Uh, it looks like it's a little off to me. Uh, we're going to leave the rope hooked up so we can take the tractor and maybe move it around a little bit, but i got to get this lid off where I can actually put the level on it. Let's see here. I can tell it's leaning downhill pretty bad on one side, so let's see what we got. <sighs> yep. We gotta bring that side up over there a good bit. And we gotta bring this side up over here a good bit. So I think if we bring this side up, um, let's see. dirt underneath this tank down there some soft dirt that'll kind of help us to uh, set this thing I think we're, we're almost there. We're good to go. Okay. I was looking for the dirt in the bottom is soft and we can keep moving that till it kind of settles in now what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little water around it where that soft dirt will go ahead and settle and now get back on it and make sure that uh, that it's settled pretty good in place Okay guys, it's time to get some water from Wanda's rain catchment system. We're going to pour it around it and kind of let a little water get in the bottom so we can make sure that it's seated good because we put a little bit of dirt around it to wash in there. I'm going to start out with a little bucket. I can handle it a little easier to, uh, to control the amount of water. This will take that uh, little bit of loose dirt I throw it around the edges and it'll take that water all the way to the bottom. Now what we're going to, we're going to take one more time on it. Boy, it ain't moving. 
Oh, this thing. Oh, that said it. We better hope we're right. Yep, we're good that way. And we're good that way. Okay. We are ready to start throwing a little dirt around it. And guys, we gotta dig this ditch. And I wanna show you something. We got three and a half inches of rain here the other day. And I'm gonna show you, look at this. This is pure powder. And right here, look at that. You can't even stick a shovel in the ground. It's just, it's just pure, big old dirt clods of just pure powder. Look at it, it's just, it's just like hard as a rock. This here that I've been digging out of here, look at this, just powder. That three and a half inches, <clears throat> did not wet anything. It literally, I mean, it just literally didn't do much of anything. Okay guys, let's talk about a few tips here. Number one, make sure you put the septic tank in in the right direction. I've read tons of comments about people that had septic systems put in and they put them in backwards. You want to put the high side of the septic tank toward the house. This hole over here that's the highest goes to the house. The lowest hole goes to your field drain. So make sure if you install a septic tank, you put it in that way. Now this is a plastic tank and the plastic tank will float. So we begin to put some water around it to help settle some of the dirt in around it. But before we put too much, we start putting some water on the inside of it so that the tank will not float. We want, we want the weight in the tank. So we're gonna put a couple more buckets of water in the, inside it so that we make sure that this tank doesn't float. And also we wanna make sure that it stays level. That's one thing we're gonna continually check as we go along. We are good. 